History is filled with battles over one thing or another, and fought with usually the most advanced weapons of their time. And of course, our beloved Roblox FPS game, Phantom Forces, has a lot of those weapons for us to use. However, because of the type of game that it is, we can unfortunately do things like this. Now, a lot of you do this to all of the weapons in-game anyway, and attempt to call it a no-recoil loadout, when trying to carefully formulate the perfect way to make me angry in my comments. Now, enough of you badger me about these things, that I think it's time to just kind of run through the literal hundreds and thousands of comments that I get over you guys leaving your best loadout to add to our collection of videos about the nonsense you guys want me to use in-game. Ready? <sighs> Let's do it. Now, of course, we're just gonna start with something simple, as we usually do, and don't fret, we're gonna use these setups later. But we're just gonna look up in my comments, we're gonna look up no recoil. <laughs> And of course, we're starting off with literally a guy who wants me to use a freaking no-recoil pistol. I don't think that's really a thing in Phantom Forces, but okay. Dude, 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 no-recoil real? Scar L, a mo- Oh, just, I'm just- <laughs> You're not- <laughs> Maybe a no recall setup. I admire your confidence, my friend. Bro doesn't even know. It's just kind of a guess. I big fan. Please I try big no fan. I I please try no. All right, you know, posting your comments. More of them. Stop. You don't have to comment 1,100 times. What your clothes setup? No recoil. Like what, like, what is that supposed to mean? I don't understand. You guys are gonna drive me insane. The 5-0. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We're on to something here. We're most definitely on to something here. Yo, Steven, I got the best no recoil setup for you. Yo, Steven, I got the best no recoil setup for you. Yo, Steven, I've got- All right, very cool. Oh my god. <laughs> it just keeps going. Oh my god. You know what? This guy's dedicated, bro. Let's let's at least throw one in there. Come on now. This is a man who has studied his Phantom Forces. <laughs> Clearly, he knows something we don't. <laughs> there is my no recoil setup. Where? Uh, where? The Colt Mar, my favorite weapon. Just keep in mind, dudes. If you want to see your setup in a video and you commented it, just make sure to subscribe because that, that's that's how you're gonna see it. You gotta you gotta put them notifications on too. Love you. Day two of asking you to use this goofy ah uh, M16A3 setup. Well, he apparently gave up, so. <laughs> this poor guy. Setup that I call some Steven nightmare. It's no recoil for real. An RPK-74 loadout? That's that's a rarity. I'll see no one use the RPK-74. Bro's not subscribed either, though. How's he gonna see that I used the setup? He says love the videos. Why aren't you subscribed then? I'm, j I'm just, d just do it now. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, uh, let's 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 try using some of these. <laughs> I I'm scared. Now it's not all super often that I actually get secondary loadouts. Typically, people try and keep their no recoil loadouts to like primary stuff. And uh, honestly, this thing's super ugly. So because of the weird amalgamation of attachments, I have very little faith that this is gonna work. But let's try it. Oh, oh, hold on, bro, just might be onto something. It's, it's just like ever so slightly working. Of course, we are still having a bit of that like Halbeck device kind of recoil that I'm just not used to compensating for and I don't really think I ever will be. I mean, awful, awful gameplay aside that it's kind of, it's kind of okay. Yeah, I mean, there's not much I could say about it. It's just a gross pistol. <laughs> Now, I'm a little bit more excited about our next one here, the MP510. I have nothing against the MP510, I just don't typically use it all too often, and this one is also, the skin on it's more gross than the actual loadout itself. Mmm, I, I, bro, I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I'm not feeling it, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, shoot the man that's not looking at me, and let the man who's staring right at me freaking fill me with bird shots. Thank goodness. You are watching a master at work. All right, here, let's just stare at a blank wall and we'll see. Mm, no, honestly, it's got a little bit too much like side to side recoil for me personally. I have enough issues compensating with like players who freaking ADAD. I say it a lot, but if you ever see me in a Phantom Forces lobby, you know what you gotta do? You gotta do one of these. We just move a little to the right. That's all you gotta do and I can't hit you anymore. <laughs> Bro was laying still and I could barely hit that man. You are watching a master at work. Oh man, I, I don't know why I'm using it like it's a sniper, bro. This, <laughs> that's not the fault of the weapon. It's okay. 
Now, see, now is where I'm about to get a little bit excited here, because for me, the 5-0 is an interesting weapon. I have such a love-hate relationship with this thing. However, once again, our mans has put the Halbeck device on this thing. He has me using a sideways grip. I don't know if he wants me to use it with the sideways grip or what. All that he says is, this setup make you very good. <laughs> so, <laughs> thumbs up to that. Ooh! Whoa, that, no. My hopes were so much higher. My hopes were so much higher for this. It's like a freaking crescent moon upside down. <laughs> the fact that I was even able to get one kill there is like just an absolute miracle. I don't know why I'm giving this thing the time of day, dude. We've clearly established that this thing is horrendous. Well, okay, that's what happens when you run out of ammo. You could have gotten the 5k, but no. You are watching a mess. No, that's not to say that it's unusable. I mean, because technically, point blank, it's just a decent 5-0 loadout. However, uh... <laughs> I don't know why I picked the Halbeck device loadouts. I really don't. They never work. They just don't. How? 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 Oh my god, that guy went flying. I just, I don't understand how this is working. I don't understand how this is working. Um, I'm gonna say <laughs> it's most definitely not a, the, the no recoil setup, but somehow I've just, <laughs> I don't know how I've been able to get kills with this thing, dude. This is such a garbage setup. I kind of want to keep using it though for some reason. Uh, I may have got some, some demons. Now this next one's gonna be from the guy who has like a million different loadouts he wants me to try. But I'm interested in trying the G3 again because we got a sideways grip this time, just like we did on the 5.0. But also because the G3 is a pretty standard weapon, usually pretty low recoil. So once again, my hopes are high. Because he's asking me to use the sideways grip, I'm gonna try and use it in the next game, apparently. <laughs> Thank you, Phantom Forces. Very cool. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Oh my god, okay. I was just... Would scare the absolute crap out of me. Okay, this time, this time. Hmm... Hmm... Okay, okay. Nope, nope, you've sold me. <laughs> I like this. The G3 is just one of those weapons that I always love picking up and using just because of the fact that it's got like that slow, like chugging kind of fire rate to it. Like, look at that. It's like, the, the weapon recoil looks like it's so high, but it just bounces straight back into that person's face. Isn't that just so nice and wholesome? The M16 is also kind of one that you don't see all too often anymore, despite the fact that it is a, like, super, super good, low rank primary weapon that just looks fantastic. Now, of course, he wants me to use the M855 conversion with it, which I'm typically not a big fan of because it basically just turns it into an M16A3, which already exists in the game, so I don't know why it's here. And recoil is... Yeah. Yeah. Now again, just because something isn't a no recoil setup doesn't mean that it can't be a fun and functional way to use a certain type of weapon. But nah, I'm just like, if you're gonna use the M16A1, just use it with its like thousand RPM fire rate, dude. Come on. Don't be slapping no weird conversions on it that just don't really make it as good as it could be. Good, yes, no recoil, no. Now for this one, the Colt Mar, as he calls it, I have also a little bit of high hopes for. I mean, it seems like it's got fairly bare bones attachments for it. It's kind of hard to go wrong with a weapon that's meant to be used up close like this. Ooh, but the <laughs> why is the recoil so rough on this? Now again, <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of rough. <laughs> Damage-wise, though, it it feels like an incredible weapon. Oh my god, <laughs> they just keep wiggling side to side, bruh. Oh, it's got some penetration on it too. Okay, okay. I, I do like this. I am having quite a bit of fun with this. And the game ends with nearly seven minutes remaining. Thank God. <laughs> Good setup would not say no recoil. Now this one, of course. Now, before you say anything, I know exactly what I'm getting into with this. When you equip the MG3, like, you know what's about to happen. You know it's not going to be good. But at the end of the day... Okay, okay, that was, that was very interesting. <laughs> it is not nearly as bad as I thought I was going to. That doesn't mean that this is good. This, this is terrible. However, we might, might be able to actually have some good times with this. If you go to a different map, of course, because I, I don't want to play on Mirage with the MG3. is a bad idea. Let's go to the old rusty, trusty Metro. Someone's being loud. I knew it. Now you see, 
This is definitely not a no recoil setup by any stretch of the definition. But again, just because something is not no recoil does not mean that we cannot use it. Now, typically what I like to do with these videos is I like to pick out stuff that's just weird and looks like it's not gonna work on the surface. And a lot of times it surprises me. <laughs> this is not one of those times. Now, the one that I am actually hopeful for and one that I think is just a pretty standard normal setup, right? It's gonna be the RPK-74 with a little bit of an amalgamation of attachments here, including hollow point, but I think is going to be relatively decent. And yeah, this is what I expect, right? Just like your average kind of setup here, you know, very basic bare bones attachments, but actually is pretty functional. I wouldn't necessarily choose hollow point as my first kind of a thing for a weapon like this necessarily. However, again, that doesn't mean that it can't be a good loadout. Oh, bro's doing a handstand, what the heck? But for the first time in this video, I think we can say we found a genuinely good no recoil setup. Now, no one's making me do this all besides my own here, but uh, I, I wanna go back to the 5-0 because this, <laughs> this is just fantastic. This. <laughs> The fact that something so disgusting is actually semi-functional is just incredible to me. Well, yeah, I guess a big thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys sticking through to the end of the video, which I know you did because you're, you're cool like that. And of course, I hope that you guys ended up enjoying the video as well. And if you did, make sure to subscribe with the channel notifications on to get notified of all new videos and consider becoming a channel member with the link in the description below. Just like these wonderful people up on screen right now, as per usual. Don't forget too that we got the Roblox merch, which is going to be here just through the holiday season and with Christmas fast approaching, you're not gonna wanna miss out on these. Also, I did click on the Phantom Forces playlist up on screen. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool of you. This has been a nightmare. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day, dudes.